Grandpa Newbie reporting for duty. We're only a couple of days from season six or into season six. You may be watching the video when season six has dropped. So it's time to bring out the big guns. We've got about a month left in the game. Let's start playing Gacamole. Let's serve chips with that Gacamole. And this is one of the best guns in the game. The MCW with the three jack attachments to it. Now it's important that you add those three jack attachments to get maybe the best gun in the entire game. Let's take a look at the configuration. First, the Jack Raven kit. That increases the headshot damage, which is already pretty stout. Upper torso damage, yeah, it goes down a little bit, but 3%. Remember what Grandpa Newbie says. Don't worry about anything less than 10%. Lower torso damage up slightly. Upper legs at 33. Effective damage range close to 16 meters. Minimum damage range still out to 36.6 bullet velocity a bit of a slow bullet velocity but the rate of fire 800 rounds per minute so the bullets are flying out of the end of that nozzle there now these are composite numbers based on all the attachments we've hung on to this beast kick isn't bad at 26.79 even though it's up 34 percent horizontals almost non-existent at around 10 to 11 degrees per second and vertical recoil improved 35.49 degrees per second hip fire is fairly accurate as is tax stance maybe you don't want to try tax stance in this configuration movement speed is impacted a lot of red but that's a placebo that's there to fool people who don't watch grandpa newbie who aren't part of the air crew lounge because one two three four percent doesn't matter finally the sprint to fire speed is down at 158 milliseconds that's fairly hefty that's a good sprint to fire speed 40 round mag, we need that thing because we're going to be throwing out the bullets at 800 rounds per minute. You can see there's a lot of red, but again, that's the placebo. Paracord grip. It's important to use this because it's all green, no red, and that helps the sprint to fire by 17%. That helps the horizontal recoil to keep it down below 11 degrees per second, and the ADS movement speed is way up at... 3.8 meters per second so we're going to bounce around a little bit there the jack cutthroat helps ads movement speed it's what gets us the 3.8 the red there don't worry about sprint to fire counteracted what we put on before helps with the recoil helps with the flinch resistance the kimura silent shot integral suppressor and that brings down the effective damage range but grandpa doesn't care because grandpa is going to be accurate he's going to be putting out bullets very quickly and 15.8 meters 16 meters is still good for the maps we'll be playing on in free for all movement speed has helped as is Sniffing your feet speed, ADS movement speed, sprint to fire speed. We've counteracted the counteract from the last attachment. Let's go into the firing range and see what we got here. We're going to be keeping it up close. Pretty quick kill. I ain't gonna lie to you. This weapon is a very good weapon. Grandpa's very successful with it. In fact, I don't think he's ever lost a game while carrying this configuration of the MCW. It makes the MCW a whole new weapon. So let's take this three jack equipped mcw onto the field of honor in free for all see what it did for grandpa see what it did to grandpa's mystified enemies let's go all right let's get into this the best configuration for grandpa's opinion the best gun at least for if you're not sniping in the game all right the nasty ballerina took her out by the way we dropped into this game down by seven so it was seven to zero when i dropped in and i considered leaving but what the heck this gun's powerful there's nasty ballerina got her and all of a sudden very early we're starting to catch up we're only five behind of course that doesn't help getting gacked by on the farm Getting the acreage to plant yourself after the zombie. You can see this weapon has very little recoil. Oh, tactical nightgown lady. Grandpa's seeking 
this weapon will put the bullets out quickly and it will hurt people it's a nasty ballerina and I hate to see the crossfire and free for all but it tells you there's somebody else out there I know who that was there's just an average dude and he's Elvis Elvis is average in this game nasty ballerina and all of a sudden, we're in the lead. We got the zombies coming after us. And people shooting us in the back. But we got those beautiful cluster mines, which in some games, it's a GG once you get those. But in this one, maybe Nasty Ballerino step on one. She did. There's not a good choke point necessarily, but they're doing work. So Grandpa's not going to complain. Here we got a red hood goblin there or something. Oh, nasty ballerinas after Grandpa, and she yaks them. Just tooling along. There she is again. She's my buddy. And she's also Elvis. Let's keep pulling that trigger. These, oh, tactical nightgown lady. There she is. This had a weird ebb and flow to it, Nasty Ballerina. This game did because I started out seven down. I caught up, got ahead. Then the field caught up with Grandpa, and then finally he got ahead again. She was Elvis, Crossfire, the zombie. I mean, can you really see anything wrong with this weapon? I suppose some of you will say, oh, I want an optic, and, you know, that's reasonable. But the three jack setup on it is just amazing. Just overpowered. And I don't think they're going to nerf it. I mean, we got a month to go. These guys are having office parties right now. They're having potluck. Somebody's bringing the oven-cooked green beans with the onion, crispy onions on top of them. They're going to be thinking Halloween and decorating for that and decorating the game. They're not thinking about nerfing weapons. At least they shouldn't be. Nasty Ballerina is no longer Elvis. And Grandpa's going to ride this one out. We got the double shooter. And, of course, we get knifed. Zombie decided he couldn't do it with a weapon, so he's going to try to get back in with a knife. There's the opera star with the opera cape. 40 rounds was enough. 60 would be better. But that 60 magazine is locked, and Grandpa has everything unlocked in the game practically. So I don't understand how to unlock that. Maybe you can comment below and tell me. Oh, that'd be nice if I could get Nasty Ballerina. She got her, but I don't think that was the final kill. I think the final kill, yeah, was a Mosquito Drone. Going out, doing work. Boom. All right, Grandpa was happy. He dropped in seven down. First time with that weapon in his hands, he's seven down and he ends up ends up taking the game. All right, we're dropping to Charnel House, otherwise known as Das House. Bodies everywhere, people running around. That guy is, ooh, he left a present for Grandpa. What is going on? There he comes right back again. Got mosquito netting. There's average terrorist. Better get down. We got people muppeting. We got muppets in the game. You can always count on average terrorists to give you a death. 3.8 meters per second on the strafe speed. Don't forget that. Don't discount that when you're thinking of an optic versus a jack cutthroat or a paracord. 3.8 meters per second makes you hard to hit. You can see Grandpa strafing just about every time. 
Average terrorist takes old grandpa out. Can't emphasize enough to try this exactly as it's printed here. This is one where you, I'll say, you can try this at home yourself. And let me know how it goes in the comments. I'm not a fan of the MCW. I'm going to be straight out honest with you on that one. Never have been a fan of it. I think it was pretty underpowered, but you know what? Accurate, so I get it. It was meta. In the CDL, it was meta. In fact, they had to buff it late in the life cycle here. But once you add in all those jacks, you got a completely different weapon. So if you try it, comment below. Let me know how it went for you. You can see, no recoil at range, so it's still very accurate. I think I'll get a revenge on that one, plus a crossfire. But it puts out bullets very, very quickly. More than 10 rounds a second. So you're going to gack people in a hurry. Even guys that have the dual Lockwoods. Even Evil Knievel looking guys. Like you're going to jump a motorcycle across a gorge. Which he bailed out right away. I mean, he didn't even try to take that one across the gorge. He launched and popped the chute. Ended up in the Snake River. Uh, up it. If Grandpa can maintain a little bit of a lead, but things change fast and free for all, even faster in Charnel House. <laughs> Doss House. For those who don't know, a Charnel House is a place where there are a lot of dead bodies. Usually you hear the term in horror movies. And this, Doss House. Especially the one with the snake guts or the alien guts is a horror movie. But for a weapon to be this good, this close, and it's an assault rifle, and it's you're that elusive, awesome. There's another win. Grandpa's going to do a little dance because I've got it in me. Grandpa has rhythm. Once again, let me know how it goes for you with this configuration well, thanks for watching please subscribe helps me helps the family cheers oh and peace to you